Hey there folks, how you doing? It's the main man here. You know what we need to do? Well first off, it's been over 80 degrees at my house for like four straight days. And the bad news is it's going to remain over 80 degrees for like another week at least. They just, they show 80 degrees and they don't even show the rest of the week. So they just, 80. We'll let you know when it changes. It's supposed to get over 90 for a few days. So, you know, you know what you got to do. You ready for this? Oh yeah. That's a beer cracking open. Now, you're probably asking yourself right now, who has the audacity, the cojones, to open up a beer on a Yu-Gi-Oh! product opening video? I'll tell you who. I'm Lucky Lance, the main man, the leader, I guess, of Last Best Hope. Yeah, I open up beer, and I drink it, and I open up Yu-Gi-Oh! product. Let you all know what I think of its contents, uh, all that kind of good jazz. Try not to get too drunk. Well, I got a sponsor for y'all, and it's a special sponsor to me. It's uh, not one from around Ravensdale or Cumberland or Enumclaw. Well, it's one of our local players, Josh W. I think his last name starts with W. I think I know his last name. I don't really remember. But he gave me $25, so I really appreciate that, Josh. Thank you for supporting me and watching all my videos, despite I know you have better things to do than watch these. Uh, you have to. There's no way you have nothing better to do. So you're taking time out of your busy life, your eventful life, to watch my videos, and I really appreciate it. Uh, Josh is a local player, like I said. I don't know how long I've known Josh. The years fly by, so it's either like one year or like seven years. Can't be seven. That don't make any sense. But, but uh, whenever I play Josh, he's always got a different deck. I think he's, uh, he just plays random decks, like just flavor of the month for him, flavor of the week. Like, let's see, I, I don't know if I've ever lost to him. It's been close. Usually Josh will misplay along the way, and I'll be able to, uh, you know, uh, take advantage of that misplay. Uh, let's see, what, I remember the decks he's played. He's played um, Cosmo, I remember he played Ritual Beast, Burning Abyss. Did he play? Did you ever play Mermail? I don't remember. I don't think he played Fluffle, but I'm just going to throw it out there just to cover all the bases. You know, Fluffle. That seems like a deck Josh might enjoy. Um, he likes Super Smash Brothers. I don't like Super Smash Brothers as a fighting game. But it's a great party game. Some of the funnest things I ever did in my life when I was like 13 to like 15 was play Super Smash Bros. Melee with my buddies. And we'd play with all items on, like on high, and it was so fun to throw like bomb bombs and shoot guns at each other with Mario and Link and the whole Nintendo roster. Now it's just, to me, Super Smash Bros. has gotten too big, like there's too many characters. There's just, I don't know, I, I, I'm just, it seems like they've done as much as they could by the time Super Smash Bros. Brawl had come out. Like, I like Brawl. I played Brawl too. I never played anyone after Brawl. I never played Wii U, and of course I haven't played, like, I think it's I'll call Ultimate. So, but I, I like Brawl because that Snake in it. So, Snake's coming back. That's good. I did kind of play the new one because Ryu is in it. But I, I have played, actually. I take that back. I have played Wii U. My sister has it. So, I've gone over to her place and played it quite a few times. Probably, like, less than 20 times. But it, it's still fun as a party game to me. It's, to me, it's just it's tough to play as a fighting game just because there's no life bars. You have knockout stages, which I know they have in, like, Soul Calibur. But, eh, Soul Calibur, it's like, that's... A 3D fighting game. I don't like 3D fighting games. So thanks, Josh, for $25. I hear you're moving to Oregon uh, for reasons unknown to me. I heard some rumors, but I'm not going to comment on them because I don't have no idea. Uh, but good luck in Oregon. Literally good luck because there's not much to do in Oregon. Um, you know, so have fun down there. And we're going to miss you at Shane's. Big League Sports Cards and more. And uh, Will's, Wicked Will is going to miss you the most, probably, of anybody. And uh, probably that Zach guy, too, red-haired Zach. He's going to miss you, too. And uh, we're all going to miss you. So uh, have fun in Oregon, and uh, keep watching my videos, because be a little piece of you still here, I guess. At least you'll be able to keep up to date with what's going on in the shop a little bit, because I usually have little, you know, updates on the shop. So thanks, Josh, $25. 
So Josh had a request when he gave me the $25. He said, pick a box, a set from 2016. He didn't care which one, didn't say which one. That's no problem. 2016 had a lot of good sets. Uh, my personal favorite set, though, was The Dark Illusion. Look how sick that looks. The Dark Illusion was one of my favorite boxes, mainly because of the color. And in retrospect, this box, or this set, I should say, is one of the better sets. You can still, Pot of Desires is still a super meta card. Um, Coral Dragon's in here, which I still think is a meta monster. He's Coral Dragon, really good, I think. Um, and then there's the Hidden City, which isn't a meta card, but it, it's one of the cool looking cards they were printed with that, like, dark forest green. And then, of course, the Dark Magician cards. You have Magician Navigation and Dark Magical Circle. And I'm sure there's other cards in here I'm forgetting. There's a cover monster, Nirvana High Paladin, uh, that I'd like to pull. I mean, there's so many good cards in here. I don't know if I can pull. I, I'm going to, you know, I probably am going to pull the worst one. But, you know, it's the thought that counts. But uh, Return of the Ultimate Wizard, which I'm sure we haven't seen the last of the Dark Magician. Uh, this is the day, I'm filming the day before uh, Cybernetic Horizon comes out. And I've never been so excited for a, a, a set in a long time because of danger, but in the next video you guys will get to see all my excitement because I will have Cybernetic Horizon. I may have more than just Cybernetic Horizon, just a little teaser there. So anyways guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to head over yonder open up this here box and I'm going to make sure to stay cool and I want you to stay cool too. You know what we gotta do? We gotta get drunk! Let's <laughs> going in here. Dark Illusion. One of the prettier boxes I think. This deep dark blue. You ever seen the movie Deep Blue? The shark movie? Which there's officially I think there's over 4,000 shark movies now and I actually went on a streak there where I watched like 40 shark movies in like a month and I just I got I couldn't handle it after the 40th one and that was like I was watching before Sharknado came out and then like literally when I was doing that marathon of shark movies Sharknado was coming out and I was like I'm done I can't handle this anymore but Dark Illusion great looking box um I think this set's unique because they extended whatever OCG's got something where every certain set's supposed to follow a color and this one broke that after like six years. They finally busted that. Maybe longer. I don't remember. But anyways, Dark Illusion. Getting in here. Excited. Have not opened up Dark Illusion in a long time. Going to see how many Magician's Rods that I can get, if you know what I'm saying. That's a real card for those that don't know. Magician's Rod. It's kind of dirty. It's Adult Entertainment. Stormy Daniels. All right. Here we go. First edition Dark Illusion. This set was hype when it came out because of Pod Desires. Alright, let's take a look here. <clears throat> Magical Mid Breaker Field, Black Dragon Ninja, Perform Fall Radish Horse, uh, Assault Black Wings, So Haya the Rainstorm, Subterra Nemesis Warrior, nice, and a super rare Luna Light Perfume. Man, I want a Subterra to be good. Just like Vendrids, I want a Subterra to be good. And they were terrible, but I got them to work kind of with, oh yeah, I forgot, Metalphos de debuted in this, didn't they? Damn. I think, I don't think there's any big Metalphos cards in this, though. I don't remember. Their fusion monsters in this are all like commons and rares. They didn't get the Ultra till Invasion Vengeance, and they got a Secret Invasion Vengeance, too. Which is the set after this, I think. Magician's Robe, Empowerment, Revolving Switch Shard. Oh, Gofu, banned. This card's banned. So good. Such a weird looking monster. Spiral Gear, Big Red, and Assault Blackwing, Onomaru, the Divine Thunder. Red Garna. Oh, there he is, Ori Calc. This card defeated me one time. What, what was I playing? Oh, I was playing ABC, and I set a, um, an A in defense mode face down just to try and block, and the guy made an Ori Calc. And did double piercing for game. 5,600 damage. <laughs> I was so upset at myself. Like, dude, why didn't I think of the Ori Calc? It does double piercing. They were into that when this set came out. Because there was the other monster. Blue Eyes, Chaos, Max Dragon did double piercing. Whatever happened to that? Oh, Paleo Zokes are in here too. Nice. They just gave up on that. Uh, DD7, Nicola. Spiral Quick Fix, Toon Dark Magician. That's pretty cute. The old Toon Dark Magician. 
Look at this thing. Performer Pal Bubble Bow Wow. Wrecker Panda stealing Fusion Fright Waltz. Oh, this is a Fright for a, uh, support. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Show you how much I pay attention to the commons. Well, I mean, I read all the commons, but clearly I forgot that they got support in this. Because it doesn't say, uh, yeah, maybe it does. The Magician's Robe, Totem 5, Inflator Tape here, Tyramid Cruiser, and Magician's Rod. There it is. There's the rod. Uh, Extra Slinger, Oleonodes, Steelin, and Oricalc. Yeah, the other two fusion monsters for Metal Foes I think are rare, which I can't even remember their names. There's the big one, Cardinal, I think was an OCG, or is that ours? I can't remember. Magician's Robe, Black Dragon Ninja, Triamid Dancer, Formal Gongato, Metal Foes Gold Driver, and Spell Strider. Uh, Counter, Nicola, and Dark Magic Expanded. Cool, that's good artwork there. Alright, still have not pulled an Ultra or Secret yet. Re Whoa, Secret Rare yet? Totem 5. <laughs> what a useless card. Inflator Tapir, Fright for Sanctuary, Empowerment, Tuning Gum, and Amaterasu. A lot of Amaterasu. I remember opening up a lot of Amaterasu. Seems like I've got a lot of Magician's Rod, too. Back when this set was new. Alright, DD Savant Nicola, Dark Magic Expanded, Red Garden of Spiral Gear, Big Red, number 81 Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Super Dora, what a name. Uh, this is a good monster actually, two level 10s, it's like the, another version of Gustav Max, once turn drain you can detach one XYZ material from this card. So yeah, people are using it on itself, I remember now. I was like Gustav Max as he inflicts, what, 2000 damage to your opponent, just a big burn monster. They had that Elemental Hero Electromite Loop FTK with these stuff, Max. Pretty fucking stupid. I, I lost to that. First time I ever saw it many years ago. I was like, what the hell? Uh, so, how you the Rainstorm, Ban Gofu, Revolving Switchar, Subterra Nemesis War, and a Metal Foes combination. Still no Ultras or Secrets. Heavy Freight Train, Dairy Crane. <laughs> Extra Slinger. Oh, Dynamis are in here too. Is this a, yeah this okay this is the this is support for this one. Dynamis was in the set before. This was after Shining Victories, I believe. I want to say yeah yeah it had to have been because Blue Eyes won uh, Worlds. And this came out like August 2016. I remember almost two years ago. Damn, I can't believe it's been that fast. Flater Tapir. Savant Nicola, Radish Horse, Spiral Quick Fix, another number 81 Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon. Card of the Soul, Tornado of the Reverse Wind, Heavy Freight Train, and Extra Slinger. Because he's got Extra Sling. Yeah, he does a double shot. Alright, we're already halfway, almost halfway through the box, and no secrets or ultras. Is this a misprint box in the bad way? Can it be? Nicola, Dark Magic Expanded, Red Garden, Magician's Robe, Tremid Hunter, Toon Dark Magician. Wow, this is going to be amazing. This box has no altars or secrets. Be like, what the hell? Uh, Bubble Bow Wow and Wrecker Panda. Wrecker Panda has got, what's that monster? Uh, Vanilla, that's right. The normal rabbit monster. That's like all high on, uh, on carrots. That was like, I can't remember what set that was from. Was that from the Pendulum Era? No, this is the Pendulum Era. Must have been the XYZ era. Maybe it was the beginning of Pendulum Era. I don't remember. Savant Nicola, King Scarlet, Fry for Sanctuary, Magical Something, Meta Formation, a terrible field spell for Metal Foes. Bot Eyes Lizard, Heavy Freight Train, Extra Slinger, and Dynamis Ankylos. Okay, so this is the last pack on the right side of the box, and still no Alters or Secrets. Maybe that means the entire left side of the box is every pack's an Alter and Secret. I mean, that would be crazy. Gungato, Tree Mid Dancer, Black Dragon Ninja, Destruction Sword Memories, Acrobat Magician, and Spell Strider. Okay, that's all supers on the right side of the box. So, is it possible that I got a misprint box? 
because that is the official Konami paper. I mean, everything's real here. It's the real box, so it is possible. I got a misprint box here, but bad. Oh, Fairy Tale Snow's in here. Nice. That's a short print common. Busted card. It's so good. I lose so many games to this card. It's so unfair. Red Garnet, Hezo Picala, Totem 5, Acrobatic Magician. Okay, here we go. Here's an Ultra. First pack on the left. Spiral Super Agent. Nice. Uh, Middlefield Steelin, Middlefield's Ori Calc, and Red Mirror. Alright, this card at one point. I still don't think Super Agent's been reprinted. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to be soon. Um, I, I really like, look at his hair. Look at it. That is ridiculous. I actually saw some fat Asian guy dressed up as Spiral Super Asian. It was hilarious looking. He had the hair and everything. Just, uh, man. All right, if this card is in your hand. You can declare one card type, monster, spell, or trap. Reveal the top card of your opponent's deck. And if you do special summon this card, if a... If it is a card of that type, if this card is special summoned by the effect of a spiral card, you can target one spell or trap card your opponent controls, destroy. You can only use each effect of spiral super agent once per turn. So a little bit of trivia about this card. Originally, this card's effect is if it was special summon, period. <coughs> Pardon me. If it was special summon, period, it would destroy a spell or trap card once per turn still. But they decided that was too powerful. That would this card would be splashed into too many decks. So it had 1,600 attack when it had the original effect. So they took it away so it only gained its effect if it was special summoned by a spiral card, but gave him 1,900 attack. Is that a good trade-off? Probably. I mean, I don't know. I really like when Konami tells us stuff like that. It takes us into their little, their little laboratories and tells us how they came up with these cards and their effects and their stats and everything. It's pretty fun for me, at least. All right, another ban Gofu, uh, Inflator Tafir, Savant Nikola, Radish Horse, Tree Med Cruiser, and Toon Dark Magician. Okay, we're back to supers. Uh, Live Swordsman, Skate Ghost, Coast to Coast, and Dynamis Ankylos. Dynamis is a fun deck. Uh, I've actually play tested a lot when it was new, and it was a pretty fun deck to play with, honestly. Uh, it was pretty silly, wasn't too good, but it, it, it had some fun moments for me. Fry First Sanctuary, uh, Performable Inflator Tape here, Mid Breaker Field. There's a Crimsonite. It was Cardinal and OCG. Metal Flows Fusion. This card is seen play again because of Sky Strikers. Really good in Sky Striker. Uh, Life Swordsman, Scape Ghost, Oleandinis, and Bubble Bow Wow. <laughs> and, uh. But yeah, it was, uh. Pretty pretty hilarious. The uh, some of the performer fall like look at this one, Gong Gato. What is that? It's a Gong Gato. Get it? Gato is Spanish for cat. Magician's robe and power mint. This card saw play, amazingly. Revolving switch charge spiral gear. Big red Ebon High Magician. Gonna get high. Oh, Zap Mustang. Red Warg and Pendulum Hole. I had hopes for this card. This card seemed pretty good. I, I, I swear people were playing it, but it never had any lasting power. Just because it's so specific, it has to be Pendulum Summoned. That's why Bottomless Trap Hole stuck around all these years, because it's just summoned. Time Space Trap Hole had a lot of gameplay when it was brand new. Oops. Uh, Destruction of Sword Memories, Magician's Row, Black Dragon Ninja, Treatment Dancer, DD Savin, Tomos, and Thomas. Paleozoic Animal Color. Anomalocaris. Neat. Oh, and the Trimid. I just remember what the Trimid is. They're like weird, like, field spells that help out rock monsters. Forbidden Dark Contract with a Swamp King and Metal Foes Counter. Only one altar to speak of so far. This may be the worst box of Dark Illusion ever. Uh, Inflator Tape here. Fright for Sanctuary. Empowerment. Acrobatic Magician. Spell Spell. Strider, this is Spell Striker all grown up. Uh, Dynamis Ankylos, Bubble Bow Wow, Wrecker Panda, and Metal Foes Stealing. One of my favorite Metal Foes is probably Gold Driver, just because he's got 1900 attack. I ain't gonna lie, I always like monsters with high attack. Unless I'm the one staring them down, I'm like, fuck, that's got too much attack. King Scarlet, Bright First Sanctuary, Preferable and Flare Tapir. Magical Midbreaker Field, Truman King Golem, Magician of Dark Illusion. It's 
It's a cool looking card. Heavy Freight Train, Extra Slinger, and Oyanodes. Keep on rolling here. Triamid Dancer. I never play against Triamid. It's so bad. It's just terrible. Savin Nicola, King Scarlet, Preferred Ball Gum. What? Gum Gum Mountain? What? Lunalite Perfume. Red Mirror, Red Warg, Extra Slinger, Dynamis Ankleus. Look at this card. What is this? My God. What is that nonsense? <laughs> this was back when they were designing weird ass cards all the time. Like inflator tape here. DD7, Nicola, Radish Horse, Red Garna, Trimid Hunter, and Masterpiece, the True Draco Slayer Ultra. Uh, Red Warg, Extra Slinger, and Dynamis Inkleus. Was Spinal. Dynamis Spire. What was it? Spinal, right? There's Rex, but he's not in this set. Must have been the next set after this. All right, masterpiece of true Draco Slayer cannot be normal summoner set. Must be special summoned from your hand by tributing one Draco Slayer monster and one Draco Overlord monster. Cannot be special summoned by other ways. Once per turn during either player's turn, when a card effect is activated, you can negate the activation. If you do, destroy that card. If this card is in its owner's control, is destroyed by opponent's card by battle or card effect. You can special summon one Draco Slayer monster and one Draco Over Draco Overlord, whatever one's call it, monster from your deck. Terrible card. Never stop playing. All right, that's two ultras. Three packs left. See how much damage I can get in here. Hopefully there's a secret rare in here. King Scarlet, Fry for Sanctuary, uh, Inflator Tape here, uh, Sayo the Rain Hider, I can barely read that, and Paleozoic Anomalocaris. Uh, Turn the Reverse Wind, Tree Mid Fortress, Forbidden Dark Contract with the Swamp King, and Metal Foes Counter. All right, still got a couple packs left. Going for a secret rare. I can't believe I'm saying I'm going for a secret rare when I haven't got one. Savant Nicola, King Scarlet, Fright for Sanctuary, Fervault, Inflator Tape here, Spiral Quick Fix, Spell Strider. Okay, folks, it's down to the last pack. Pendulum Hole, Space Ghost. Is this a box with no secrets and only two ultras? Can it be that bad of a box? Ugh. Highway Robbery. Here we go. Gofu the Vague Shadow Band, Revolving Switch Sharpezo, Hollow Dreesnia, Treatment Dancer, Treatment Master, and No Secret Rares in the Box. Zap Mustang Red Warg and Kennedia. Kennedia. Wow, what a terrible box. Only two Ultra Rares, no secrets. I'm supposed to get. Four ultras and two secrets. Instead, I get two ultras, no secrets. That's full, negative four on the uh, high rarity cards. At least one of the ultras I pulled, I believe, is the most expensive ultra in this set. I believe Super Agent still goes for a few bucks. But that's impressive that I would get a misprint box and uh, to not. So that means somebody got a super hot box somewhere at some point. Must have had like eight secrets and. Uh, not, maybe not eight. Well, six secrets and six ultras. I had a box like that of Shining Victories where I got three secrets, six ultras, I think. Maybe it was four secrets. I don't remember, but I had a Shining Victories box that was like, like on fire. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the destruction. And uh, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you saw, give me a, give me, you know, Give me a thumbs down, I guess, but, you know, that's not my fault. It's it's, it, I, it's what the box came with. Uh, if you want to see more of this stuff, hit that subscribe button. You want to be notified immediately of uploading some quality content. Go ahead and hit that bell icon for whom the bell tolls, and you'll be notified immediately that I've uploaded some good stuff. You'll be like, man, I, I wonder if this box will get any secret rares. What was a curse? What if I've been cursed now? Just thought about that. What if I've been cursed? Oh, no. I can never pull another secret rare again. It's a fate worse than, worse than death for a Yu-Gi-Oh guy. Oh, it's not the case. 
I'm gonna find out tomorrow, I can tell you that much. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed everything. Hope you're staying cool in this massive summer heat. If you live on the East Coast, hope you're not dying of a flood or something. I hear there's a bunch of flooding going on back in Pennsylvania or something. Uh, so just be on the lookout. Keep cool, stay dry, or whatever. Stay away from the wildfires. Remember what Smokey the Bear said, only you can prevent forest fires, and he specifically meant you. And I will catch you guys in a couple days. Peace!